All right, everyone. What we're gonna do today? Uh, I'm gonna try to change the oil in my uh, generator. I've got a. Uh, it's a Power Horse 7000 from um, Northern Tool. I've got a. Let's see. Power Horse Generator Maintenance Kit. So that's what we're going to use today to uh, change the oil, uh, spark plug, and it's got like the little fuel tank filter in it, looks like. But um, let me get the camera set up and I'm just going to use this. Uh, the, the free catch can that I made in a previous video. Alright, well, as you can see right here, um, let me see if I can get it zoomed in. Right here's a drain plug for it. Um, Probably a 13 millimeter. That looks to be about a 12 then. 12 meter, 12 millimeter socket. What you'll need for that drain plug. I'm gonna grab an extension. Just uh, took out the uh, the old filler uh, plug. Not necessary. It'll just help it drain a little bit quicker. Okay, well, looks like the uh, the oil has quit draining now, so uh, grab that 12 millimeter, replace the uh, the uh, drain plug here. And it does have a washer on it right there. Crush washer. Uh, it don't look like it come with a replacement washer, so make sure you don't lose that.
looks really good. Minimal uh, carbon. Uh, It's not going to focus on, I don't think. But I mean, it looks... Looks good. The gap looks alright. I'll, uh... I'll just hit it real quick with a, uh... A bit of sandpaper. coffee can here to catch the brake clean. But I don't know if you can tell much of a difference on the screen there, but I mean it's cleaned it up some. I'll uh I'll hit it again. Got a just a little tube of anti seize. What I'll do, I mean, spark plugs get really hot, and I'll just uh, take and put some of that right there on the threads like that. Alright guys, my video camera overheated and shut off, so I'm going to try to capture this on my cell phone real quick. Um, got the uh, attack dog here. But, uh, I mean, so far so good with the generator. I haven't had any major complaints about it. It's done exactly what I needed to do, and uh, I mean, all, all you need for this to do an oil change with that kit is a socket wrench, an extension, and a 12 millimeter uh, socket to pull the uh, old plug out. And I mean, technically, I guess if you didn't have that, you could take the old field plug out and tip the thing over on its side, but. That didn't make a mess. But, um, no complaints about that maintenance kit from uh, Northern Tool. It, uh, <laughs> a little bit overkill, I reckon, uh, with that air cleaner box and all. Could have just sent two little filters. But, I mean, I'm not going to complain. I guess where this is just cheap metal. It's vulnerable to get punctured and whatnot, so I keep it on hand. And uh, the biggest thing I do wish is this: this had an actual um, fuel filter. It has a sediment bowl right here where my finger is. I would try to zoom in with my cell phone, but it won't. It it'll be blurry as I don't know what. But you you can take that sediment bowl off right here and clean it out. Which, I run ethanol-free fuel in all my small engine stuff. And that's what I would recommend to anybody to run small engine stuff. And I even go a step farther uh, and put Stabil in it. And, knock on wood, I ain't had no problems yet. I mean, not saying that I won't, 
but it's aggravating to go grab something to use it and it won't start because of a fuel problem. And 99% of the time anymore, the fuel problem comes from bad gas, carburetor issues. Because fuel with ethanol in it contains like 10% and above ethanol. And what that ethanol does, it'll break down and turn into like a sludge uh, in the bottom of the fuel tank. And that's where your fuel is getting picked up from, the bottom of the fuel tank. Like this is a gravity fed type system. Your other small engine stuff like weed eater, chainsaw, blower, they, uh, they've got the little fuel filter on the end of the hose in the fuel tank, which, I mean, that's awesome. That is one of the best things I think there is, but those little fuel filters, they'll get completely gummed up. And sometimes they'd be a pain in the butt if you ain't got the right tools. But uh, I'm going to stop rambling and end the video here. Thank you for watching, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it, and like the video if you liked it. If you didn't like it, hit the thumbs down. Thanks. Have a good one. One last thing before we go is I'll uh, start it up and let it run just for a second. I don't feel like taking it back out of the shed and putting it back up. Call me lazy, whatever. Uh, cut the switch on. I don't think we'll need to choke. Make sure the fuel's on. need to choke uh, um, it runs it's not leaking old so we're going the video thanks for watching